kwa majina naitwa Nelson Ochieng kutoka kwa Jwakali Times uh, fraternity and i would like to say something because what i'm seeing happening is really not making sense by all means because uh, when we thought when after when we were doing the election we were doing it expecting the best but when the worst came by we thought maybe the people involved will take a route which will take us at least to where we wanted like you see right now on the ground as somebody from the ground uh, maybe you don't know but i would like to bring for you a report that here on the ground as people of the Juakali fraternity we have a lot of mental diarrhea on the ground as a result of the many problems we have like right now so many husbands are almost becoming wifeless in the sense that the wives are making are finding their husbands not making sense to them as providers as a result of the simple thing which is wrong things done in the wrong way all the times and uh, as a result of that you find even uh, paying school fees is becoming problematic to us especially people of the Juakali fraternity. Yes. So when we hear nonsensical issues like by, 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 by partisan talks, we ask you ourselves, is it because they think we are just uh, pussycats in our minds <laughs> that we cannot just uh, think uh, of how we can make a appro approval kind of approach so that we make things which can make sense. What is important, may I take this chance also to talk to our two leaders. Yes. Uh, you know, in leadership, it is good you have goodwill to serve the people. Be it that you are in opposition, be it that you are in government, uh, we need the voice of reason to prevail. Especially when you want to make decisions. Uh, involve those who are directly involved. So that when you make decisions, it, comes, it becomes a decision which is more sensible. Uh, in comparison to what we are seeing happening, as I am concluding, uh, we want development. And development can never be there in isolation. It has to be done in inclusion so that we get the social development, economic development, and also political development. So as somebody from the Juakali fraternity, have it from me that a lot of mental derailing is happening on the ground, and you should do right things right. The mistakes we always make of every five years after things have gone uh, sour, we go to the boardrooms, what, what is really not sensible, every five years, every five years. We want a voice of reasoning to prevail over this so that when we do elections, equal elections, everybody is satisfied. Yes. Thank you very much. That is the voice of Nelson Ocheng from your Cali fraternity. Because we are men in Nataka kusema hivi e, tumeongea sana kuhusu deni tumeongea sana kuhusu economy but no solution so mimi nataka kuambia serikali kama mnataka sisi tuji, tujiendeleze kiuchumi lazima wachue vile wata increase manufacturing how can we increase production but how what makes you to to increase production is demand of your goods if your goods are not competitive, then you won't increase that uh, production because demand of goods is what brought about uh, increase in, 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 in production. Number two, ni mesikia wakisema atiraisi ya maenda huko inja kutafukia market atiko sababu watu export disana. Sasa kama ovakato nye na tengenesu wapa kenya inaguzu wapa nini kiambu, haitoshi watu wa Nairobi. Kwa nini utoke hapa uende utafute market ya ovakato china? So mimi naambia rais wacha ku hizo trips ya sina maana sa kuomba msaada. Akae kwa ofisi afanye kazi. Jambo la mwisho wanatumia pesa mingi ku launch projects than kuweka pesa kwa mradi. Wewe rais akienda kama magharibi wa Western Kenya ana spend like 50 million. Alafu contractor anakuja hapo for PR anapatiwa 5 million. That is nonsense. Waja launch project from the state house ama ambie chief wa lonji huko mashinani. Hakuna haja ya wao kusunguka barabara na makari. Hao watu wametu. Mimi nikiona sura ya mwanasiasa na kasirika kabisa. Because wanasiasa wana misuse pesa set. Hao ndio wameua uchumi. Hao ndio wamefanya watu wanahangaika sasa hivi. People are scrabbling like rats. Hakuna kitu yenye tunatunda tunafanya hapa kama nchi. Atuwezi produce 
hatuwezi uza bidhaa zetu ni expensive no kiangalia ni ushuru uwezi ya kama ushuru mingi kwa kitu paka saa hii tukitengeneza hata kibiridi haiwezi nunulika tuna tuna opt out to import from china ama india na hiyo kibiridi tumeandika mtu kwa tukimport so hata ma raw material mtu akitaka kuleta ma raw material than bringing finished product huyo mtu wa raw material anafaa apatiwe tax free that is how you can promote a shilling because export ki increase hiyo demand of our shillings also will increase na hiyo ndio data value na value ikipanda ya shilling then yetu takuwa kidogo then yetu sio kubwa kubwa ni vile imekuwa kubwa kwa sababu shillings ina in, in week in every time na hao wako on run walienda kupanda miti wakatumia milioni tatu kupanda miti mbili. so hiyo upusi kama hiyo inji haiwezi endelea kwa, kwa misingi ya upusi lazima tuwaje kufanya vitu zingine to focus on what merits hiyo tu ninasawambia sasa umesema ta kile tulisema hivi hiyo cost to living cannot be solved with the wrong economic model yes it's like kenya is trying to go to prosperity using the wrong map you cannot go to naivasha with the wrong map you can't go to nakuru with the wrong map by them still holding what's called bottom up economic model which has never worked anywhere has never been published by any publisher and has no author it's a wrong map trying to find the true north of kenya the true north of kenya is vision 2030 the true north of kenya can be found with solomonic economic model which you have suggested i've given you all to read it the president can also take this book and read he will find the formula here he will know where he went wrong lakini tukaanza kutafuta ah uh, penye tunaenda na map ambayo ni wrong ni kama world bank na imf walioteletea map yao ambayo ingewasaidia wao na wanasema itatusaidia sisi hiyo map tutoe na tutoe kabisa na tuweke ile map ya vision 2030 kila kitu kwa hapo hata education system kwa hapo kcp iko na shida iko hapo kwa hiyo map washatupa map yetu kando wamechukua map yao inaitwa bottom up it can't work it won't work it is not working it has never worked let us go back to wisdom which is given by god thank you thank you